Hey guys, it's Ben from Adapt Network, back with another quick video today for all you fellow Adapt adventurers enjoying Hogwarts Legacy on PC at the moment. It's a magical game, especially for Harry Potter fans, but if you're like me and you have a pretty decent gaming PC with ample grunt to run the game on high or ultra settings, at least on paper, then you may have been surprised and frustrated by the random lag and frame rate drops occurring throughout your gameplay. For me, lowering the global graphics settings down to medium and turning off VSync helped a lot, but I'd still experience a jarring amount of stuttering shortly after loading up the game, when exploring new areas and while traversing the world swiftly on a broomstick. I am running the game at 21x9 1440p resolution, so my graphics card is having to spit out a substantial amount of pixels. However, this is less than 16x9 at 4K, and lowering the rendering resolution didn't help that much. So, digging into this a bit further, it looks like my machine's RAM was the bottleneck. I've seen reports of other players' RAM usage spiking to the high 20GB territory in some cases, and like a lot of rigs, my PC was running 16GB of RAM, two 8GB sticks working in dual channel. For most modern AAA titles, 16GB is still plenty enough to get the most out of your graphics card, but the dense open world of Hogwarts Legacy is very memory hungry. Long story short, as long as your motherboard supports it, adding two additional 8GB sticks to boost your RAM to 32GB should unblock this bottleneck and give you a much smoother gameplay experience and stable frame rate in Hogwarts Legacy. You can see here that we're running around Hogsmeade and enjoying a stable frame rate in the high 50s. Booting up the task manager reveals that even when standing still in this area and on medium settings, my PC is still utilizing a whopping 18 gigabytes of RAM. Now, if you've never added RAM to your system before and don't want to mess about with the RAM frequency and timing settings in the BIOS, I'd recommend that you purchase the exact same sticks that are currently installed in your system. That way, you can be sure that your PC is running efficiently and that all four sticks of RAM are working in dual channel, i.e. two pairs of 8GB sticks communicating simultaneously on separate channels. If you don't know what RAM your system is running, and you don't want to pull out your existing sticks, you can easily find this out by downloading the free program CPUZ, and I'll add the download link to my article and video description below. Once installed, simply head over to the memory tab to confirm the total RAM currently installed. Then switch to the SPD tab to find out the make and model of each module and how many slots, if any, you have free. So I hope this video has been useful and fixes any lag and frame rate drops you've been experiencing in Hogwarts Legacy on PC. For more optimization tips, Troubleshoot has a great video that dives deeper into each graphic setting, and I'll also link to that in my article and video description below. If you did find this video useful, hit that like button, and for more videos, subscribe to the channel. From sports and the outdoors to tech and gaming, we cover the things that make every day an adventure. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade.